Hello everyone! Hey Tony! Have you ever wondered how exactly snake venom affects the human body? Well, I happen to have a couple of vipers and cobras lying around. We'll let them bite you and see exactly how the venom kills people. Let's begin! Let's start by saying that venomous snakes are not bloodthirsty killers at all. They never attack humans or large animals for no reason. It happens purely out of self-defense. For example, if someone steps on them or gets too close to their hideout. Most often they bite the feet or the muzzle of those who are particularly curious. Let's start the experiment with the vipers. Release the kraken. I've always wanted to say that. Well, it's done. The place of the bite swells and turns red quickly, and Tony starts feeling an unbearable pain. In general, there are two kinds of snake venom. The first spreads through the blood system, gradually destroying the vital organs and tissues of the body. The second acts on the nervous system, making the lungs stop working and causing death from suffocation in just a few hours. Viper venom belongs to the first type and acts mainly on the blood circulatory system, causing hemorrhages. It severely affects the muscles and some other tissues of the body. Snake venom changes the composition of the blood and kills white blood cells. White blood cells protect the body from pathogenic germs, but they cannot cope with the action of the venom. So when germs start to multiply on the wound, which won't heal and may even get infected with gangrene. Likewise, viper venom affects the entire body as it spreads through the bloodstream. In addition to changing the composition of the blood, it causes severe damage to the tissues of the liver, spleen, and kidneys. The kidneys usually remove the poisonous substances from the blood directly into the urine and then naturally into the toilet. They also try to remove the snake venom, but in this case their tissues partially die off. If viper venom enters the digestive system, there is severe inflammation and hemorrhages, but the venom itself is destroyed by the digestive juices and bile. Now Tony is feeling drowsy and is semi-conscious. He may suffer from nausea, vomiting, and even convulsions. His heart rate increases, but the heart itself becomes weaker, the body becomes cold, and Tony has trouble breathing. Death comes from respiratory failure within 12 hours to 8 days if no antidote is administered. However, not always a viper bite leads to death. Sometimes the body can cope with the poison itself and the person recovers. That's exactly what happened to Tony. The heart starts functioning better, the body warms up, and the swelling goes down. But the damage caused by the poison of the viper was so strong that Tony may feel weak for a few months and it is even possible that the disease will return and become chronic. That is, weakness and poor heart and lung function may remain forever. But Tony is a strong boy and is rapidly recovering. I think Tony is ready for us to try the second kind of snake venom. By the way, it is abundant in the most famous snake, the cobra. Let's see what we have here. There is no swelling at the bite site, no pain either, but Tony feels tired and faints. Breathing and heartbeat become labored. Such poison can cause death in just a few hours if nothing is done. The fact is that cobra venom affects exclusively on the nervous system, so it does not produce any local effects. The main active agent of cobra venom is a neurotoxin that affects the respiratory center, causing suffocation. However, even such a bite may not be fatal. The body is able to cope on its own if a small amount of venom enters the body but it is better to get help from specialists and receive competent treatment. You can recover much faster from a cobra bite than from a viper bite, because if the body has withstood the effects of the poison, it is easily removed by the kidneys without damage to the tissues and blood, whether we're talking about a person or an animal. The main thing is to drink plenty of fluids and go to the toilet. Tony, fresh air is always good, but out in the open you can find dangerous and sometimes poisonous snakes. See, told ya. First of all, Tony, don't panic. You should remain calm, so your heart won't beat harder and your blood won't spread the venom faster. If you can, try taking a picture of the snake so that the doctors can give you the right antidote. And, of course, call an ambulance. The faster you get help, the bigger your chances of survival. While we wait for the paramedics, sit and keep the area of the bite below the heart. Tend the wound with antiseptic and put a dry bandage on it, but not too tight, because the bite can swell and the bandage can hurt the skin. 
Apart from that, you should write the time of the accident and your symptoms. So, even if you pass out before getting help, the doctors will have all the information to save your life. Overall, these are the basic rules to survive a snake bite. But you know, Tony, the best way to protect yourself is being cautious. To avoid getting bit by a snake, you should be careful where you walk and avoid places where you can easily find snakes. Check tall grass with a stick before entering. This might scare the snake away or force it to bite the stick first. Once it had attacked, the snake will go away because you are bigger than it and it is probably scared of you as well. Remember that snakes attack humans not because they are predators, but only to protect themselves. Wait, Tony, don't do that. You're like a baby trying to put everything in your mouth. I know that people in films usually suck the poison from the wound, but research has shown that this method isn't effective. It only allows you to remove 2% of the poison. Moreover, the poison can get to your blood even faster through the buccal cavity. You also shouldn't cut the wound to supposedly let the blood with the poison get out. And last but not least, you shouldn't apply a tourniquet to stop the poison from spreading. It isn't effective and can significantly increase the chance of gangrene. This usually ends with the victim losing its limb. The ambulance is here. Don't worry, dear friends, Tony will be okay. Hello everyone, Tony, get ready. In today's video, we are gonna travel the whole world to see the most poisonous creatures on our planet. Let's go. The fifth creature on our list is the poison dart frog. It can be found in the forests of Central and South America. If you happen to see such creature in the wild, remember to stay away from it. This little fella carries enough venom to kill 10 adults. In the past, the local tribes used to smear the poison of these creatures on their arrows and spears. The fourth place is reserved for the Taipan, a snake that lives in Australia. In one bite, it can release enough venom to kill 100 people. The venom of this deathly creature is several hundreds more poisonous than the venom of a cobra. If it bites you, you'll probably be dead after 45 minutes. Lucky for you, there's an antidote. Moreover, this snake scares easily and in the face of danger, it tries to run away as fast as possible or to slither away. In the third place is the Death Stalker, a scary scorpion that can be found in North Africa and the Middle East. By the way, despite what many people think, most scorpions aren't deathly to humans and their poison causes only pain and swelling in the place of the bite. Nevertheless, the Death Stalker carries a deathly cocktail of neurotoxins that can cause incredible pain, fever, and convulsions, putting you into a coma, paralyzing you, and finally killing you. The second place goes to the King Cobra, which can be found in Asia. It is considered the most poisonous snake in the world. It doesn't have the deathliest poison out there, but the quantity is impressive. One bite is enough to kill an adult elephant. Moreover, King Cobras aren't afraid of anything. If they're hungry or feel threatened, they don't hesitate to attack anyone, including people. That's the main reason why this creature is so high on our list. And finally, the winner of the title of most venomous creature on Earth is the box jellyfish. It can be found in the waters of Asia and Australia. Its venom is the most dangerous in the world. The toxins can stop the heart, the nervous system, and the cells of the skin. Moreover, it causes a tremendous amount of pain. So, the victims usually suffer from pain shock and drown or die from heart attack. Data shows that in the last 60 years, box jellyfish have killed more than 6,000 people. Yeah, we better get going, Tony. Our home feels so much safer. Tony, I have a great idea for a new video. Mm -hmm. You and our followers will love it. Do you know how in the animal world there are deadly enemies, just like Batman and Joker, Dovahkiin and Alduin, or even Diablo and Tyrell? More exactly, I'm talking about the venomous and dangerous King Cobra and the Mongoose, a little beast who isn't afraid of any cobra. It may come as a surprise, but the winner of this fight is usually the Mongoose. So, how does this little beast overpower the cobra? I'm gonna tell you all about it. Just keep calm and watch our video. So, here is the King Cobra, the biggest venomous snake in the world. It can be up to 5 meters long and is as fast as lightning. In its fangs, there are dangerous venom that can kill a person in 15 minutes. 
The effect is pretty strange. After entering the victim's body, the venom affects the neurotransmitters, responsible for the nerve signals going to the muscles. The venom stops them from working, causing cardiovascular collapse, respiratory failure, and finally death. Now let's take a look at the mongoose. It's no more than 75 centimeters long. You might think that it chose the wrong weight category, but the mongoose has a special power. This animal has a special neurotransmitter known as acetylcholine. It mutated in a special way, making mongooses immune to the venom of the king cobra. When the snake bites the mongoose, the acetylcholine receptor protects it against the venom and the central nervous system isn't damaged. In a way, the mongoose is an ex-animal of the real world. Nevertheless, its superpower doesn't make the mongoose immortal. If the creature is bitten several times, it can die. Apart from its biological features, mongooses are very good at defending themselves from attacks. Usually it forces the snake to attack and then it evades them. And when the cobra is tired, the mongoose waits for another attack and then jumps and clings to the snake's head, squashing the cobra's skull with its powerful jaw. Dinner's ready! As you see, friends, looks can be deceiving and you would never think that this small creature could win 80% of fights against King Cobras. So, take it as an example. You should grow and believe in yourself in order to overcome any obstacle in your way. Tony, what if I told you there are animals that can live after death, and some of them can even attack you and kill you? That's right, the world is full of surprises. Well, let's start. First, we have snakes. Some species can easily kill you after their heads have been ripped off. So, in 2016, a firefighter and his family were on vacation in the countryside. He saw a rattlesnake and cut off its head. He wanted to throw it away, but suddenly the severed head bit him in the hand and injected poison in his body. The man took a few steps, felt his tongue and throat swelling, and fell unconscious. Fortunately, the rescue team got there on time and he was saved. But this chef from China was less fortunate. One day, he was making a very special dish using the meat of a ring called cobra. It is considered a delicacy in the east. The chef wanted to throw away the severed head when it suddenly bit him and injected him with deadly poison. The cook died before the ambulance arrived. Next on our list is the octopus. In some countries, octopus tentacles are considered a delicacy, but the fact is, the tentacles aren't controlled by the brain. Thus, while you are eating them, they can move, stick to the inner walls of the esophagus, and block the access of air through the throat. Several people have died because of this. Next on our list, a close relative of the octopus, the squid. There's a dish with a squid on top that sits there quietly until you start pouring soy sauce on it. Then, it starts to twitch its tentacles like crazy, even though it's not alive. The secret is that the sodium in the sauce reacts with the squid cells. This releases free ions that tickle the nerve endings of the tentacles, causing the squid to dance. And finally, a fun fact. A turtle's heart can beat for many hours after it's been ripped out. The secret is that their heart has its own supply of essential substances, and it won't stop until it's all gone. Friends, tell us in the comments below if you know other unusual and frightening animals. The best stories will be featured in the next episode. As always, give us a like and subscribe if you still haven't. Thank you and see you next week.